Hi, everybody. I had him adjust that mic stand just so I can do this. <laughs> uh, like she said, my name is Richard Humphrey. One time uh, I got introduced at this bar, and she goes, come to stage, Richard Humphrey. And this woman just goes, ha, you don't get pussy. <laughs> Two questions went in my mind. One, how'd you know? Two, why would you say such a thing? And I asked her why, and she said, with a name like that, nope. And I was like, I did not know that pussy was just name conditional. Like, because my name's Richard Humphrey, I'm never getting laid. There's a lot of reasons I don't get laid. My name is not one of them. <laughs> but I was really offended. So after the show, I followed her home. I found out where she lived. And then I found the neighborhood kids, and I was like, hey, kids, a witch lives there. They're like, what else? And then I lift up my shirt, showed them my shingle scars. And I said, yeah, she did this to me. Two weeks later, I drove by. She was burned at the stake. Long story short, don't fuck with the Humphrey clan. I got uh, hacked on Facebook recently. So apparently I'm gay. The worst part was my mom said, knew it. <laughs> you know, it's like... Uh, I was talking to a friend who was like, you know, the, the thing with gays now is like blacks in like the 40s. I was like, so if my Facebook got hacked in the 40s, it'd say, hacked, I'm black. <laughs> my mom would still go, knew it. <laughs> uh, one thing I hate about Facebook is uh, Spotify. Yeah, it gives you a lot of music, but that fucking snitch. It's 2 a.m., I'm trying to figure out which Nickelback song is stuck in my head. And it tells everyone. Yes, I listened to Photograph and all the other ones. Yes, you love the song Photograph. I love Nickelback. No, but then I got made fun of. And I was like, oh, you snitch. If this was prison, I would have filled my sock with soap and beat the shit out of you. I hate Spotify. Um, what else do I have? So uh, my parents got divorced when I was about three years old, and I was a real big fan of Willy Wonka back then. So my mom hired a bunch of Oompa Loompas to tell me that my parents were getting divorced. And it went a little like this. Oompa Doompa Doompa Dee Doo Somebody's father doesn't love you. What do you get when your parents fight all the time? Twice as many presents at Christmas time. Your mom has been getting smacked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I lived in Korea for a couple years, and I went, I went whitewater rafting. And afterwards, there's this, like this little bathhouse area where everyone went to change their clothes. And how it went was, there's this giant wall here with this tub filled with water, and just a bunch of like naked guys just splashing themselves with this dirty water. And of course, I trip, and I fall, and 15 naked Korean men just rush to my aid. I was like a baby looking at a giant mobile with just fleshy baby carrots. <laughs> just hanging out. Yep. Worst part is I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a little known fact, uh, Anne Frank is a big fan of knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how she got caught. The Nazis were like, knock, knock. And she goes, who's there? <gasps> They're like, God damn it, Anne. So we give you a diary. Write it down. Uh, so I masturbated on an airplane. Thank you. Sometimes I like to do that in the bathroom just to, you know, keep the Mile High Club dream alive. But no, I did this under the blanket. Just sitting right there. Shrek 2 was on. I was just, I was like, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do. And <laughs> I told that joke once, and a friend of mine, he walks up, he goes, wait, you masturbated under the blanket to completion? I go, yes, to completion. Who doesn't masturbate to completion? That's the one time I know I'm going to get my nut. 
That's, uh, serial killers don't masturbate to completion. That's why they want to kill everybody. Uh, let's see. I'll leave you guys with one last one. It's like origami. So uh, I've had butt sex once. I was, uh, I was behind her just doing my thing, and I thought, why not try to slip it in? Why not, you know, give it the old college try? I went in just the tip, just the tip, or as Koreans call it, the whole thing. And <laughs> this was her reaction. <laughs> and then she looked at me, and then I looked at her, and then she looked at me, and then she then looked back at her, and then she looked at me, and there's a cigarette in my mouth. And then she looked back at me. <laughs> and then I was like, can we keep going? <laughs> and then she looked at me, and then I looked back at her, and then she looked back at me, and then I looked back at her, and then there was a cigarette in my mouth. And then she looked back at me, and then she, I looked back at her. Uh, needless to say, the next morning was awkward. Not like really awkward, like someone just talked about butt sex on stage. Like, like that guy who always wears glasses, but he took them off, and you're like, there's something different about your face. <laughs> I don't know, your, your eyes look smaller. And it's weird, I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, my name's Richard Humphrey. <laughs>